Okay, good morning. It's officially 5.09 in the morning and we are in the car. I'm ready to go. I didn't vlog getting up because essentially had to get up. Was a little bit behind, not too much. So, but I'm still gonna make time, make the flight the whole nine to like six something in the morning. So I'll be all right. Um, yeah, let's go make this flight and travel. So we have officially made it. Walking down to TSA right now because I got my ticket and I felt a little rushed, but everything's all right. Doesn't look like the security line is uh, security line is pretty short actually. Yeah, buddy. TSA pre-check because I'm special, but not like the good special. I'm like special. Like <laughs> you're a special kind of special. Yes, I am. So we're officially in the terminal and. Oh, head over to food court because I want to get something to eat. Uh, uh, breakfast or break fast. AKA, I'm hungry. Shit. <laughs> so, let's see what they got at the food court. If anything's even open. Water, coffee, croissant. $17.49. Kind of forgot that getting food at the airport is like going to Disneyland. Everything's like three times the damn price. So, we are waiting. And it looks like we're about to board here in a little bit. It's 6.05, they board like five minutes. People are standing up. I don't understand why people want to stand up so damn early. They know they gotta wait until they call folks and they call them by order of like, you know, groups and whatnot. So, it makes no damn sense. So we've officially made it on the plane. It's, uh, not too big of a plane. Made another plane and I got my coffee and my water because basically need both for life. First stop, Atlanta. After that, uh, Midway, Illinois, which is really close to Chicago. I think on this trip, I'm gonna try to make a trip up to Chicago. No promises, but I'm definitely gonna try. We'll see. Officially in Atlanta and yeah, walking through the little tunnel thing to get into the airport. My flight is not leaving till like two something and it's eleven twenty something here. So low key I'm eating lunch here. Well, this is uh, just about every other airport you see. People busy as all hell. I'm at a C33. Oh, a little odds. Umaizashi, whatever that is, bistro bar. I can read bistro bar, damn it. And there's my gate. Boom sauce. Still at the Atlanta airport. It's uh, 12.33. Just still walking around. I mean, it's essentially an airport, right? Yeah, it's an airport. But I wanted to share with you guys. Oh, they got a five guys in this airport? Yeah, your boy's going there. I've never seen a five guys. It's a burger joint in an airport. That's awesome. Um, really cool trick so that people don't necessarily, I guess, talk and or bother you while you're at the airport just kind of waiting and people watching. Get you a hat, wear it low, get you some earbuds. Even if you're not listening to anything, hide the end of it where it plugs in and nine times out of ten no one's gonna bother you they're thinking oh he's probably listening to something his hat's low he doesn't want to be bothered literally nine times out of ten no one's gonna bother you that's how I survived the airport because there's so many people here it's 
if you kind of think about it, airports are like little mini cities. That's what they are. Airports are mini cities. All these people, all these joints to go eat at, public restrooms. Do they have public restrooms in the city? I don't think so. But, I mean, everything is overly expensive in an airport. So, I mean, take for example the vending machines. It's like two bucks to buy a Coke. Really? It's that expensive? Come on, Coca Cola. I think we can do better. Yeah, I had to come to five guys. It might be a little expensive. Burger, fries, and a drink, 16 bucks. Every time you go to the airport, it's a lot more expensive. But five guys is shit. It's damn near worth it, right? Why not? I'm on the next flight. As you can see, window. Can't see too much. Anyway, I'm on the next flight, and from here it's it's gonna be another hour, I think, more or less. I can't remember how long the flight is, but I just can't wait to get there so I can get some Portillos. I'm I'm definitely gonna vlog when I get to Portillos. You guys are gonna know how great Portillos is. I always overspend and I always overeat and I never regret it. So, official in Illinois. It is nice and white out there, i.e. snow. So, it's going to be cold. I think I packed my gloves in my bag, so hopefully my hands won't freeze. That's like the first part of me that actually freezes up. The hustle to go to baggage claim. You know what's great about baggage claim? Absolutely nothing. I gotta stand around a large crowd. Well, usually stand around a large crowd just to wait for my bag. And then people start jumping forward when they see their bag. Like, hey, there's somebody in front of you. But luckily for me, I'm smart. You see where I am? Empty. Where's everyone else at? That's the crowd back there. Matter of fact, here. That's the crowd waiting for their bags. I'm out here. Because I'm not going to jump in that crowd. Only one good thing about baggage claim is the fact that most people will stand in one spot in a big ass crowd, whereas everyone else is smart enough to stand right here, where there's no one here, they can just grab the back up. Like me. There it is. Everyone was over there. My rear end is just waiting. Why? Because it's a circle. It'll come around again. To Chicago. I got my rental and it's a mother flipping Mazda. Just like at home. Only it's red and it's, it's a sedan. It's a Mazda 3. Whew, it's clean too. It's a 2018 with leather interior. Oh, they're trying to spoil me. That's what they're trying to do. Straight up, I'm in Chicago. I am in Chicago. Mira, yo soy in Chicago. I'm in Chicago. Holy mackerel. I'm in Chicago. This is awesome. You guys can see the skyscraper. Just holy crap. This is a, and this is just from the car. I swear I wish you guys could see what I see from the car. I'm on what is this? Columbus and Roosevelt. Or is it Roosevelt and Columbus? I have no idea. But this is awesome. And we're gonna go see a really cool famous fountain. So I'm not going front. It's actually factually cold. And I'm such a fucking tourist that I pulled into like right there and parked right here. And I don't think that's somewhere I can actually factually pull into. But I parked here because <coughs> here are the steps. The snow, there's actually snow here. Like, holy crap. But we're gonna go see, oh my gosh, the ground is slippery. You see that right there? That is called, if I'm not mistaken, Buckingham Fountain. And it looks amazing. And, I mean, look at the skyline. Holy, look at the skyline, yo. I'm not joking. Look at this. This is straight out of a freaking movie. This is amazing. I'm freezing my nuts off, but this is amazing. I want to get a closer view, but look, I got 
got to walk through all of this. I'm not yoking. <coughs> um, it's actually... Oh my gosh. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but I'm not joking when I say it's cold. And the lady over at uh, Budget, she was really, really nice, but she straight up told me, you, you got a jacket? I'm like, no, it's not, it's not that bad outside. I'll just stay inside most of the time. Yeah, no, it's freaking cold. Whoo, it's cold. Wow. It's cold. That's why I, I, I'm glad I actually had sense enough to pack my gloves in my in my uh, little backpack here, right there. Yeah. Um, this is absolutely amazing. Now, what I read online was that they actually it doesn't uh, run water in the winter, but look at this. They have this uh, gate that surrounds. Higher area, so you can't actually get in there. I mean, I can hop this gate quick, pass in a hurry. I'm not going to because I don't know what Chicago PD is like. Maybe they want to arrest me. Maybe they don't. I don't know. But look at this. Let's see if I can get a nice little close-up of this. This is amazing. Look at this. If I'm not mistaken, those are seahorses. That's the fountain itself back up so you guys can really this is amazing I, I'm thinking all these is this these this is where the water this is typically where the water is and then all these all these pipes right here that's you know where the water runs through and all that jazz but can you believe this and look at the background the background is simply amazing you have these skyscraper like buildings the architecture here is crazy i'm actually I'm, i shit you not i've never been to chicago ever i think the closest i was i've been to chicago was i don't know watching chicago pd <laughs> watching chicago pd or maybe home alone i think that's a big thing i've heard it before but, but let's see if i can get a close-up of it that right there with the red sign that's called the Congress Hotel. I think that's something famous. I don't know, but it looks cool. This is something straight out of a damn movie. This is awesome. I am freezing my nuts off, but this is awesome. Can you see this? Look at this. I, I scaled it all the way back so you guys can really try to get a, a, a real view and a, a, a real, oh, I don't know the words to use. I'm so cold, but really see a real scale of how big this fountain is. It's humongous. It's freaking huge. And then you got, I'm telling you, straight out of a movie. You got the benches on the side here, right up against all these trees. I love these trees. But the fact that they're bare like this, I don't know what it is about these bare trees, but I love taking pictures of them. I love being around them. There's something about these trees. Holy crap, this is freezing. Look at that. That's amazing. That, that's amazing right there. All this, all this that I'm pointing to by panning the camera is amazing. Holy crap, Ola. This is awesome. This is, you know, <laughs> this is one of the reasons I am so glad I started vlogging because in, in, in a very small way, it pushes me to get out of my comfort zone a little bit, stop being such a damn hermit, and just go out and explore and look at things. You know, you know, life is not behind, you know, the TV on your couch. I mean, hell, let's be honest, that's comfortable. It really is. And on certain Sundays, shit, why not? Why the hell not? It's a lazy day. But this, this right here, all of this, If I didn't just think of it just because, because I'm here, I wouldn't have been able to see all this. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I'm probably parked in the wrong place, but I just had to come here and look at all this. Now, mind you, it's cold. So, that being said, I might not do much vlogging outside because I don't know what the cold is going to do to the camera. 
Uh, I'm definitely not going to vlog outside if it's snowing. Hell no. I'm not crazy, but this here, this is awesome. This is, this is, wow. And I know I, I, maybe I haven't talked about it before, but I've been to like downtown Denver where like that's <coughs> compared to Colorado Springs. You know, the Springs is basically like a town and especially the downtown area, but downtown Denver, where they have like, you know, downtown, uptown, Reinhardt and a bunch of other places. It's all just like one giant downtown area to me. And essentially it's like a city. It's a city. It is, it's a city. But this, this is a city. I'm in Chicago. This is awesome. This is freaking amazing. Look at this. I'm walking in a nice little circle around this thing. This is huge. I'm getting closer to this. Look at this skyline. This is beautiful. I don't know when is the next time I'm going to be out here to see this like this. But this is amazing. This is fucking beautiful. And honestly, if I do come on and visit again for whatever reason, either for work or for pleasure, whatever it is, I want to come here during the summertime where this thing is just going off with water and this whole place is probably packed full of people. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's places just fucking jam-packed full of people. This is amazing. Buck's Bar, I have no idea what that is, but that's what that sign says over there. It's Buck's Bar. I'm just going to guess it's like a spot where you can get something to eat and drink while you're hanging out here. Wow. I love it. And, oh shit. Okay, so um, I'm kind of on a low-key mission, but not really. I decided to get up close and personal with these damn things because this is freaking amazing. Wow. This is, look at, I mean, look at this thing. It's a seahorse. It's a seahorse. It's amazing. And I'm, you, as you can see, the mouth is where the water comes out. And then here, here it is. The fountain. Yes, I'm, I'm probably way too close for, for my own good, but this is awesome. The snow is deep though. Like, I'm not kidding. This was, it, the snow around here is a couple inches. I kid you not, but this is, Awesome. This is amazing. Let's start taking pictures. This is awesome. So I want to get you guys up close and personal with it. In fact, I'm going to do something that I'm pretty sure I'm not the first one to do. But the hell with it. I'm touching the fountain. This thing is... I can't... You, I don't know if you guys can tell the sheer size of this thing. I'm 6'1". Compared to this thing, I am small beans. Extra, extra small. I feel short near this thing. Look at this. Buckingham Fountain is what it is. It's one, two, one, two, three. It's like three layers. And that's not including this whole area which should be filled with water to include these uh, seahorses that are stationed all around it that spit water out at the same time. Now, I don't know if they do like little shows or whatnot, but this is freaking amazing. And I'm gonna get my ass back over the fence where I belong before, you know, 5-0 comes around and whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the bees. Whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the police. I mean, I've seen Chicago PD. I know how Voight does it. I'm walking my butt back to the car. Uh, oh boy, it's icy out here. I'm walking back to the car and um, I, I think I'm gonna drive around the Chicago, the downtown area a little bit, just to like go through the Chicago, I'm gonna call it the Chicago jungle, cause it's awesome. Um, honestly, I just thought of something. <laughs> I have no clue how I'm gonna edit this vlog because I have taken so much footage today of traveling 
from Colorado to here to get here. I have no clue how I'm gonna edit this. To keep it under 15 to 20 minutes. Cause I got a lot. So that's gonna be my challenge for tonight. It's editing this. Oh boy. See this right here? This is all icy and slippery. And I'm stepping on this with vans on. I mean, they do look like sneakers though. I got my vans on, but they look like sneakers. Oh, let's get back in the ride. It's cold. Oh, like my fingertips are. I got here. That took like an hour because holy crap. I mean, it was just traffic jam like a mother trucker. I haven't experienced a traffic jam like that in a while. Um, so here's the root little kitchen thing, refrigerator, microwave, that'll come in handy, bathroom, standard, come this way, little desk, no, nothing too uh, extensive, I think that's a queen size bed, so, yep, that's about it, nothing very extensive, oh, oh look, there's me, hi, hi guys, how are you, <laughs> Oh boy, I'm ugly. Anyway, um, I am going to relax. Um, and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. I really, straight up, I have no idea how I'm going to edit this vlog. Because, you know what, let me go with this more light. Anyway, yeah, I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this vlog because I have so much footage and I don't want this to be like a two hour, one hour, whatever vlog. So I try to pick out the best moments and everything. And yeah, like right now, this is too much. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Out of here.